one. So Star Wars The Old Republic has just released a game update 7.1, a digging deeper, which has unlocked a new area of Manon, which is a new daily area. In this new daily area, there will be some new achievements which will basically be as the overall master of Manon that you can find under your location list in your legacy. And then there will also be under explorations, there will be Manon Sightseer. There will also be two secret achievements right here that you can't see, so we are going to find them all, but we will start with Manon Sightseer. This one you can basically follow your storyline on Manon to get it all. To be frank, you need to do your story because one of them will be locked inside the instance. So let's get started. So the first item we're gonna need to find is called the Finder's Memoir. As an Imperial player, you will find it at this elevator in the Imperial Culture Refining Platform. However, if you are a Republic player, you will take the elevator that is right here. It will be part of the storyline that's right here on the Manon daily area. So simply just follow the elevator in. As you come in here, the Imperial player need to go into this area, which will be an instance. However, we need to go to the left instead, which is in this area, which is actually part of the Republic storyline. So let's just find our way in there. You get to this big room where for Republic players you need to do a part of the mission in here. But instead of doing that, we are gonna go to the crate right down here at the end. And you will see there's a small clickable dented personal device. If you are stealth, you will be able to actually hide behind the boxes here. And click it from around the corner without engaging any enemies. For the next part, we need to visit the Patriot Memorial. By doing this, we have to take the elevator here. This is for Imperials and the south one is for Republics in the Public Arrivals port. This will lead into the general heroic area of the Underseas Visitors Dome. Once inside of this area, you have to find the dome in the southwest. There will be a small plaque that we need to read, so uh, let's get our way there without alerting too many enemies. We are now at the correct location, the Southwest Dome, and you just click this little Patriot's Commemoration plaque. And off we go to the next one. Next up, we will have to investigate some Colto tanks. These will be found in the center of the public arrivals port. There will be a slur of enemies right in front of it here, but as you cross the bridge from your initial you know, arrival point, there'll be a small tower looking structure over here and you'll be able to see these cold tanks from afar and just to have to pass the enemies and click the items in here. The next part will be visit the ancient Selkav city. This will automatically come with your storyline, so you will simply just take a tactic point from wherever you come from, Republic or Imperial, and travel directly to Enjoy the ancient city down in the southwest. As soon as you arrive, you should automatically be getting this uh, part of the achievement, but just to be sure, make sure you walk all the way out where it says Ancient Cellcap City right on the screen. Before you go anywhere else though, be sure that you travel to the Ancient Civic Center in the Ancient Cellcap City. 
in here you will find a bunch of republics so if you are imperial it's beneficial to be on a stealth character but republics will have an easy time in here since these will be friendly but as soon as you get down to the very very end right next to the republic combat medic you will find a crate with a very obscure relic you can barely see it I'm just gonna locate myself so they won't notice me, hopefully. But right at the bottom, you can see the slight clickable unearthed cell cap relic, and you just click it and hope you don't get spotted. So, the next part of the achievement is swim in the underworld pool. This is the part where you need to continue on with your critical path of the story on Manon because this is inside the story instance Ancient Progenitor Temple. So you gotta run in, do what you gotta do, and uh, we'll take a little dip in a moment. You have now killed everything in your path? Good. Let's take a dip in this absolute healing pool that's supposed to be right here in the middle. Whee! I didn't feel anything. Oh well. Now the final thing you have to do is to get devoured by the progenitor. That you will do right outside of the instance you just came out of, which is the big statue of a progenitor. It is so magnificent and we need to find our way into it. You just simply need to jump up the side a little bit more gracefully than me. And here we go! Beautiful. But I did say that there was also two hidden achievements. First one we're gonna find will be right in the hidden Imperial base. In the corner right outside of the story instance, there will be a bunch of crates in the corner and very obscurely there will be a hidden little pad that you can barely see, a lost personal data pad. So we'll click on this. But if you thought that was obscure, then wait till you find the next one. This one will be in the Archaeology Center Arrivals, which will be the part right before the ancient Selkath city. There is a bunch of crates right here next to the area where you fly in. And uh, you basically gonna have to hover yourself over the big edge of the massive crate here and just align yourself so you can see a small data pad in the corner next to the crate inside of the big container. Ta-da! All things in moderation. As for the Republic only hidden achievement, you will start right here in the joint operation to rival and we need to make our way into this area that is where your class story is as well. So let's find the first one. As you go to the left here and you get up to this bunch of crate next to a locked door you can see into the window there's a small pamphlet, um, a strange pamphlet, to be honest, that you just need to pick up. The next one is actually pretty close as well. You'll just have to go around the corner. And when you can see the two Selkaf talking here next to your trainers, there will be a small data pad quite hidden right in the plant here. The poorly hidden PDA. I actually think it's pretty well hidden, but... Eh, who am I to argue? Last but not least, we will have to go outside again. This time, we will go up to the launch pad and we'll just go around the big Kolto tanks here. Just go in between them, to be honest. And as you enter the back, you will find a small data pad also hiding right here, which is just called Personal Data Pad. Converts and compatriots. Compatriots. Me no speak basic. Thank you so much for watching. I would like to give a special shout out to Sinrai from the Discord Chibo Hunters. He has been scouting for all of these little hidden secrets 
since PTS actually. So thank you so much for sharing this with the rest of the community. It is very appreciated. They were difficult to find. If you like this video, then please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next achievement hunt. Bye!